blown by God, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. For you actually as you ask this one has a strong personality good thing I've got experience with those speak the tree has become rather overgrown and and if it grows too wildly the branches risk getting too heavy and falling which is not ideal, considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you. But I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them! But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it. Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Savage. What? Oh, dear, oh, dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, Bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Well, there it is. <laughs> Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. <laughs> Away with you already! I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since, since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> Do you know we used to leave Vanaheim together when we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership, not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, I guess. And get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um, 
Like a muse? Wait. Like... like a what? A muse. Father told me about them. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I... I would be a natural. Ugh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was going to fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. Love. What now? The riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? Love. What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of romance by the two of you duffers. Uh, gets bigger the more you take away. Oh. And the kid? You know what you want? Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go. Back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, Awaken the mask. Get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. 
He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you heard me. And therein lies a tale. Is this crazy? No, no. I can do this. 